Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you need IT consulting, go to WillieHow.com, click the Hire Us button or the Contact Us link, and fill out that information, and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. All right, so we're still talking about Unify.7.0.2.0. Twenty-one, twenty-two. Where we're at? Seven dot dot two something, right? Because the seven dot zero dot twenty-four, seven dot zero dot twenty-five could come out at any time. And this is the Unify Network application. And one of the uh, features that they've added, let's take a look at this, is they've implemented Layer Three Switch DHCP relay support. That was one of the showstoppers for the Layer Three implementation previously. Now they've added that. Now here is the catch. The catch is you can't use the old user interface to create it. Uh, at least in my testing, you can't. If you're testing, it works differently. Let me know. But in my testing, I had to use the new user interface to do this. So let's take a look at it real quick. So we're over here at networks and we are going to I'll go back to the main network. We're going to create a new network and it asks what our router is. So I'm going to say layer three test switch. I'm going to uncheck that auto scale network. I think I've asked them to uncheck that by default. Well, we're going to leave it here. We're going to go to manual. VLAN ID is going to be three, be a standard network. When we get down here to DHCP, DHCP mode, I'm going to make it a DHCP relay and I'm going to enter. You can see I've already got a Windows server uh, in here, 66.45. This is where I can now have my Windows server, my Synology, whatever my DHCP server is handing out IPs on this instead of the switch, which is great because a lot of environments need that. Now, uh, what I'm going to do is I am going to go to the legacy uh, interface and I'm going to show you this. So we're going to go to settings and networks and I'm going to add a network and I'm just going to call it L3 test. It's going to be VLAN three. It's going to be switch. I am, um, you know, selecting my, my layer three test switch. And you can see here that I do not have uh, an option to turn on DHCP relay in the old user interface. So you have to use the new user interface for that, but at least they have added the feature. It is there. And it looks like we are moving now more of those new features to just be in that new user UI. So if you're as excited about this change as I am. Let me know down in the comments. There's a couple other L3 uh, changes that I still need to see. I need to see ACLs uh, in here, and maybe they've added it and I missed it. Um, so we'll, we'll see what happens. But if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Those links are down below. If you need IT consulting, go to willyhow.com. Click hire us or contact us. Fill out that form and someone will be in touch with you as soon as possible. If you'd like to support the channel by becoming a patron on Patreon or by using our clearly marked affiliate links, they are down below. Uh, once again, I'm Willie. I want to thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.